The people of this country are absolutely incredible people, and I am honored to be with you tonight. It's like this all over the place. We're going to take our country back, folks. We're going to take it back. We are with you, sire, for freedom to the death. Man, I like that guy. Thank you, man. Thank you. The establishment, the media, the special interest, the lobbyists, the donors, they're all against me. We calculate that Donald Trump taking over the Republican Party for the foreseeable future is a lot more dangerous to the future of the Republic than Hillary Clinton continuing us toward the cliff the way everybody else has for four years. We're going to do the right thing for the people of this country for the first time, maybe in many, many decades. We're self-funding the campaign, no special interests, no donors, I don't think people really appreciate it because I see all of this money being poured into commercials and it's not their money, it's special interest money. And this is on both sides. This is on the Republican side, the Democrat side. These are special interest folks. These are lobbyists. These are people that don't necessarily love our country. They don't have the best interests of our country at heart. When you see the kind of deals made in our country, a lot of those deals are made because the politicians aren't so stupid. They're making them for their benefit. We have to stop it. We have to stop it. We are now going to make it for your benefit. We're going to make the deals for the American people. That's the way it is. I continue to believe Mr. Trump will not be president. And the reason is because I have a lot of faith in the American people. And I think they recognize that being president is a serious job. And sometimes it requires you making hard decisions even when people don't like it. And standing up for people who are vulnerable but don't have some powerful political constituency. So with the additional steps I ordered last month, we're speeding up training of ISIL forces, including volunteers from Sunni tribes in Anbar province. Radical Islamic terrorism. And I'll tell you what, we have a president that refuses to use the term. He refuses to say it. There's something going on with him that we don't know about. Trump isn't going to shut the border. He's not going to fight the war on terror properly. He's not going to deport massive numbers of illegal immigrants. It's not happening. We have to do something about it, and we have to start by building a wall, a big, beautiful, powerful wall. And it actually will even look great. I already know what it should look like, because maybe someday they're going to call it the Trump Wall, maybe. Do you think your pathetic wall will do anything except fall like a heap of dry leaves in the face? The wall just got 10 feet taller, believe me. It's got 10 feet taller. You will pay for your barbarism! I love my life. I have a wonderful family. They're saying, Dad, you're going to do something that's going to be so tough. We will no longer surrender this country or its people to the false song of globalism. No American citizen will ever again feel that their needs come second to the citizens of a foreign country. Uh, you know, good luck with that. We're going to win. We're going to win it for the people. We're going to win it for our country. We're going to make America great again.
much for our lands, for our families, for our freedoms. We march. Hey, this is Charles Bowsman, the editor of RussianCider.com. Um, our crowdfunding is live on Indiegogo, so please don't forget to support us by clicking here. Other side. Uh, oh, sorry, here. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe. This is Real Citizen Journalism. Thank you.